Amy at 143 is one of the weirdest looking aircraft ever produced. It had a distinctive design with a high wing, a fixed undercarriage, and a large gondola under the fuselage. This aircraft was not only ugly but also outdated by the time it entered service and yet it managed to perform some remarkable missions against the enemy. The Amy at 143 was developed in response to a 1928 specification for a multi-role aircraft that could perform bombing, reconnaissance, and escort duties. The design was quite unconventional. The pilot sat in an enclosed cockpit, level with the leading edge of the wing, and the navigator, who also had flying controls, sat in a large glazed gondola beneath the pilot. The radio operator sat towards the rear of the gondola and operated two Lewis guns in the ventral position. The nose and dorsal gunners had manually operated turrets with darn machine guns. The Amy at 143 had a long and troubled development process, which delayed its entry into service. The first prototype flew in 1931, but the intended engines were not available, so it had to use different ones. The second prototype never flew because of engine problems. The French Air Ministry revised its requirements in 1933, asking for better performance and more emphasis on the bombing role. Amiot redesigned the aircraft to meet these demands and produced two more prototypes, the Amiot 142 and the Amiot 143, which differed only in the engines. The Amy at 143 flew first in 1934 and was selected for production. However, the production was slow and plagued by technical issues and strikes. The first production aircraft was delivered in 1935, but it was not until 1937 that the Amy at 143 was fully operational. By then, it was already obsolete compared to the newer and faster bombers of other countries. Approximately 138 aircraft were built. The Amy at 143 aircraft is approximately 18.2 meters long, 24.5 meters wide, and 5.6 meters high. It has a wing area of 100 square meters and weighs 5,455 kilograms when empty. The gross weight is 8,611 kilograms and its maximum takeoff weight is 10,360 kilograms. The Amy at 143 is equipped with two Gnome Rhone 14K 14-cylinder air-cooled radial engines, each generating 858 horsepower. It has a maximum speed of 295 km per hour, a range of 1,300 km, a ferry range of 1,995 km, and a service ceiling of 24,600 feet. The Amiot is equipped with four 7.5mm machine guns, distributed in the nose and dorsal turrets, as well as the forward and rear gondolas. It can carry a total of 800 kilograms internally and an additional 800 kilograms externally for bombs. The Amiot 143 was assigned to the Groups de Bombardment, or GB, of the French Air Force. There were six GB equipped with the Amy at 143, each with 16 aircraft. They were based in various locations in France and North Africa. The Amy at 143 saw its first action in the Spanish Civil War, where it flew a few missions in support of the Republican forces. It also participated in the bombing of the Italian base of Elmas in Sardinia in retaliation for the Italian intervention in the conflict. After the fall of France in June 1940, some of the surviving Amy at 143 were transferred to the Vichy French Air Force, where they continued to fly until 1944. They were mainly used for training and transport duties, but they also flew some combat missions against the Allies in Syria. Some of the aircrafts were captured by the Germans and used for testing or as target tugs. The last Amy at was scrapped in 1949.